this morning. Okay, so I get to say it again. How long has it been since you've seen anybody slain in the Spirit and drunk on the Spirit? How long has it been? Have you seen it recently? <laughs> they shook their head no. Dennis, stand up. Last night, Dennis, my brother's preaching revival here in town, and we all went over last night, and he had a big healing service and healing line. Dennis came through the line, and he started shaking, and I thought, boy, he's going to get something. And he <laughs> fell out in the spirit in the aisle, and she had to drive home. He was so drunk, he couldn't drive. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yes, praise the Lord. Yes, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, hey, evidently, that's what it looked like on the day of Pentecost. <laughs> to the extent they were accused of being drunk. Uh -huh. yeah. Peter had explained to him, said, Men and brother, these men are not drunk as you suppose. Yeah. Seems about the third hour of the day, nine o'clock in the morning. My goodness, you can't get this drunk this quick. But this is that <laughs> which was spoken by the prophet yeah, Joel. Right. In the last day, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all Hallelujah. Faith. So it's biblical when men, people get drunk on the spirit. Amen. Yeah.